Hello, so this is 2921 Queens Court. This is a Stanley Martin build and it is a Winston. So it is a ranch, but it also has uh, bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs. This is a four bedroom, three bath. And this is the view from the front door. You look straight into the living room area. But let's start off to your right here. You have one room here. It's a great size bedroom and or office if necessary. You have a full bath here. Countertops. Has a nice window. And then also another bedroom. Pretty much a mirror of the other bedroom. Great size bedrooms down here. And this would be the closet. So these would make great bedroom spaces or an office. You go back in. Um, that's the light fixture in here. You go back into the main living area. This is the access to the garage. So you come straight in here. Standard two car, car garage, maybe a little bit of space on the outsides, but not much. So do when you do come in from the garage, there's a one level step up, but you come into a wide space. There's no hallway here. Okay. These are your stairs upstairs, um, the stairway up to your loft space, as well as your, um, there's an additional bedroom up there. Here's your laundry room, plenty of storage. Some parts of the house have electric. Some do not have all the light fixtures installed. You have a storage closet here. And then, so then when you come in, this is your main living space. Nice vaulted ceilings, recessed lighting, fireplace. You do have the large island with the pull-up space, double ovens. You have a gas range and they're gonna end up putting a hood there. Here is your pantry space. They're gonna put some um, shelving in here, but a nice pantry space. Your kitchen. Very nice light fixture. So this would be your eating area here. And then you kind of look back out. There. Okay. And then right behind this fireplace is also another sunroom space. So this carpet in here, but this is a great space for an additional living space. And it does have the vaulted ceilings in here as well. Again, this is the Winston model. Let's step outside and take a look at the yard. It is on 0.27, but it's kind of on a hill. So you see the pink um, square there, and then it goes all the way around. So you see that orange one over there. Now it is a hill. Um, with some grading, you could definitely put a pool back here. Um, but it goes, there's nothing behind you, and it looks like they're not going to build anything behind you. Over there in the distance, you see um, additional homes, but there's nothing like just directly behind you. So where that pink one is there, all the way to there. So they say this lot is 0.27, um, and then they're building more. And this house is right in the beginning of the cul-de-sac. So let's go in and take a look at the owner's suite and then head upstairs. Again, this is a four bedroom, three bath. You have definitely have space down here for an office as well as a, a guest bedroom and it has a full bath. So this is the owner's suite. It does have that doorway with the turnaround space here. But this is your owner's suite. Nice high ceilings. And this is the owner's bath. Double vanity. It has a good size shower with a bench built in. They do not have a tub in this one though, but their shower is a little bigger than the normal square and it has a bench. I'm going to assume they're going to put glass in here that's just not here yet. Here is your storage closet, which they will add some shelving. And then this would be your water closet with your commode. Here's your um, walk-in closet. They haven't hang, hung any shelves here yet. Okay. Again, this is the Winston model with Stanley Martin. And your light fixtures there. Turn them on so you get a look at them. Ooh, right. Okay. So this is the owner's suite again. Okay. All right. So they have it already up here for you to have your TV hanging on the wall. So the owner's suite. Okay. 
let's venture upstairs and then I'll get some um, outside footage of outside for you. Again, when you come out of the owner's suite, you come into the main living area with your fireplace, the vaulted ceilings, as well as the recessed lighting. You have an additional seating area there. You have seating area on the um, island, and then you have the rest of your cabinetry is in the, bit, in the back. So this is the floor throughout the main living space. Let's head upstairs, it's wood stairs. Okay, this is your loft space here. So a really nice hangout space, family space. You go up two steps, there's a storage closet here. You go up two steps and this is a bedroom with its own attached bath. All right, here's the closet. Again, this is the Winston. Um, and you can see out the window here, a little bit better the yard and stuff. So I'll walk around out there so you can see the yard. Um, good size, here's the bathroom. Okay, same light fixtures. Um, decent size bedroom, not huge, but a good size bedroom. You could definitely get a queen bed in here and dresser. But then you also have this step down into this main loft space, which could be, you know, a great space to do homework, gaming, hanging out, all that stuff. So let me turn off the lights so I can head back down the steps and get some video of outside for you. Again, this is the Winston. It's one of my favorite models with Stanley Martin. It's your living space again. And this one says that it's on 0.27. Now it is a hill, um, but if you're putting in a pool and that's one of your goals, um, you could definitely deal with the leveling and they could make it, you know, the landscape look good with it. All right, I have all the lights off. So let me just grab my shoes and we're gonna go out and take a look at the outside of the property, okay? Again, here's the, let me turn this light back on for you. So this is when you come in the front door, you see that that is the garage. So there's no hint, you can come straight into the house from the garage. Okay, I know that was one of your questions before. So let's go back out. It is raining today. It was like sunshiny and gorgeous and then it just started raining. So I'm not gonna be out too long. But then again, this is 2921 Queens Court. So you're kind of on a hill here coming down. These are the houses around you. They do have some out here with three car garages, but I don't see, they may not have the owner suite on the main level. Okay, that's the outside. Again, this is the Winston. I'm gonna walk around back so you can take a look. You can hear the thunder and lightning. So I'm gonna make this quick. Um, it is on a hill going down away from the house on this side. And a property line does go down to that pink stone and probably where this black is. So I would say if you wanted to, you could have an area for the dogs on the side, almost like a dog run type of thing. And then if you wanted to have a pool or recreation items here, but I'm gonna walk out to where I think the property line ends based on these cones, these sticks out here. All right. So this is where the sticks are lined up. And you look back at the house. Okay, so from here. Okay. That's what it looks like back here. So let me know if you're interested in this property. They say it is moving ready. They're still putting in light fixtures and things, but those things can be done in a couple days time if this is one you're interested in.